Gee, it's a bit slow at the old bakery today, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm bored as. I wish someone would come in soon. You know what? I reckon someone will come in. Probably in the next five minutes. No way, mate. No way. I bet you five bucks they won't. All right. You're on. So, so those two workers want to know the probability that a customer comes in in the next five minutes, and to do that, they're going to need an exponential probability density function, which looks like this. f of x equals lambda e negative lambda x, where x is greater than or equal to zero, and zero otherwise, a classic PDF. Now, what does that look like? It looks like this, a decay curve, an asymptotic exponential function that's getting closer and closer and closer to the x-axis, but never quite touching it. And you should already know when it comes to probability density functions, the area under the curve tells you the probability of something happening. So in this instance, the probability that a customer coming in in the next five minutes is equivalent to the probability that x is between 0 and 5. So we're trying to find this area here. We're trying to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. And so at this point you might be thinking, those two guys looked bored, they hadn't seen a customer for a while, so wait a minute, haven't we already had some time pass before a customer comes, so shouldn't the probability be a little bit different? No. The exponential probability density function is memoryless. This concept is no different to like flipping a coin ten times, and it's always heads, and expecting there to be a tail the next time. Coins are memoryless. And so is this probability density function. Wherever you start from, the, whichever time you start counting, whether it's been waiting 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 2 hours, the probability is still going to be counted from that moment. Now, we could probably just figure out who's going to win this bet. Is someone going to come in in the next 5 minutes? And we just had a little bit more information. Because we've got this function that's got lambda and lambda there. So if I knew what lambda was, that would be useful. Now, lambda has something to do with the expected wait time, but it isn't the expected wait time. All right, so um, you're in a shop and you think, on average, people come in every six minutes. That's your expected wait time. We can say that that's our expected value here, and you should have done expected values with probability density functions before. Now, e to the x is equal to 1 over lambda. Okay? It's Lambda isn't the expected value. Lambda is 1 over the expected value. All right, so let me give you one more piece of information here, and then we can figure out who's going to win this bet. So in the shop we're talking about, they average one customer every six minutes. All right, let's go. We know that the expected value here is equal to 6, because they average one customer every six minutes. But we also know that the expected value is equal to 1 over lambda. So 1 over lambda equals 6. And that means that lambda must be equal to 1 over 6. And with that little extra piece of information, we now know everything we need to be able to figure out this thing here. All right, so we know our probability density function for this particular question is f of x equals 1 sixth e to the negative one-sixth uh, x, where x is greater than or equal to zero, and zero, uh, where x is less than zero. So there is our probability density function. And then we just do what we normally do when it comes to probability density functions. So the probability that x is less than or equal to five is equal to the integral between five and zero of this function here. I found the integral here, 1 sixth divided by negative 1 sixth makes negative 1. So negative e to the negative 1 sixth x between 5 and 0. Now we just sub in 5 and 0. Now when we do that, what do we get? We get negative e to the negative 5 sixths minus minus, so that's plus, and then that's e to the negative 1 sixth times 0, so that's going to be e to the 0, which is going to be 1, so uh, plus one here. Uh, and then we can just put that into our calculator. And I get an answer here of 0 0.5654. That's 56.54%. This is a pretty even bet. There is a 56.54% chance that a customer in this shop will come in somewhere between now and five minutes. So what are you supposed to take away from this video? 
There is a thing called an exponential probability density function, and it is good for these waiting problems. How long will I have to wait? What is the probability that I will have to wait a certain amount of time for something to happen? This is the function, lambda e negative lambda x. Now, it has this particular property of it. The expected value of this is equal to 1 over lambda. So if you know what your expected wait time is, what your average wait time is, you can find lambda very, very easily. One last thing, you can also find the standard deviation very, very easily. The standard deviation of x is equal to 1 over lambda. So, if you know what lambda is, you can find the standard deviation. If you know what standard deviation is, you can find lambda. If you know what lambda is, you can find the expected value, and vice versa. These questions can be asked in a variety of different ways, but you've done probability density functions before, so you should be able to handle this.